So let's try and answer this case. 23 year old male feels tired all the time and he says that he quote is turning yellow. But on physical exam there is jaundice, left upper quadrant enlargement. Like in the abdomen, the left upper quadrant is large. Maybe this is splenomegaly. On the lab results, we have hemoglobin of 8.2. Of course, this is low. Hematocrit 27, this is low. Reticam 7.2, this is way too high. Unconjugated bilirubin is high. Haptoglobin is low. LDH 260 is high. So, low hemoglobin and hematocrit, this is anemia. Reticulocytosis, increase on conjugate bilirubin, less haptoglobin, more LDH, all of this means there is hemolysis. So, both of them together, it's a hemolytic anemia. Now, on peripheral smear or blood film, we have elongated cigar-shaped erythrocytes. These are the eleptocytes. Also, we have spherical, dense erythrocytes. These are what? These are the spherocytes, and there is no central pallor. Both of them are abnormal. Why do we have these spherocytes here? Because it's a hemolysis. Now, question number one. What's the mode of inheritance of this disease? So, what's the disease? This is hereditary elliptocytosis. So, we pick which one? It's autosomal dominant. Question number two. What else could be found in this patient? Goldstones? Yes, maybe because there is a hemolytic anemia. How about smudge cells? No, this is chronic lymphocytic leukemia, which we'll talk about later. Bite cells? This is G6PD deficiency with the Heinz bodies and bite cells. Glossitis? Like has a lot of causes such as B12 deficiency, maybe. So here we pick gold stones. That's it. If you like this video, please give it a like and please subscribe to my YouTube channel. And also I'm posting a lot of questions and answers on Facebook. So I'd like to see you there. Thank you so much. I'll see you in the next video. I'm uploading new medical videos every single week. Goodbye.